Hey Bronco fans, welcome to another edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm John Nash. And I'm Lauren Matheson. Men's Golf hosted their tournament down in Cabo this weekend. I don't know why I wasn't invited, but John, I wish I played golf. Yeah, Lauren, <laughs> I'm seriously considering switching sports. Cabo <laughs> sounded awesome this past weekend. But hey, the men's basketball team kicked off practice, and you had a chance to talk to our very own John MacArthur and Denzel Johnson. <laughs> I'm here with John and Denzel from the basketball team. You guys started practice last week. How's that going for you guys? Uh, it's going really well. Start our first practice. Really excited to get back. It's been really competitive, which is good. Really physical. Had some long competitive practices, so we're really excited to get back. Have our first scrimmage, red and white scrimmage coming up on Saturday, so we can't wait to get at that. But practice has been going really well so far. We're excited for this year to get going. Great. And you, Denzel? Yeah, practice has been great. We've been getting after it. Coach has been pushing us really hard. Uh, legs, legs are feeling it, feeling it from that though. But you know, it's, it's necessary for us to be good. So I'm excited for this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Denzel and John also got to catch up with a few of the assistant coaches as well. Denzel Johnson here. It's my pleasure to introduce Kyle Swan, the director of basketball operations, aka the Dobo. Kyle, can you tell us a little bit about what you do uh, le on a daily basis leading up to practice? Well, I tell you what, I kind of have three main responsibilities heading into each week. Um, the first one would be organizing our weekly schedule that you guys get every Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. Um, just gym times, practice times, maybe a team meal or two. Um, dealing a lot with team travel right now, Denzel. Um, booking hotel rooms, bus contracts, airline tickets, all that good stuff. And then uh, just being the utility guy. Whatever coaches need done that day, I try to get it accomplished. Uh, Kyle plays a big, big role of uh, handling our situations on the road. Can you tell us a bit, little bit about what you do as we travel? Well, yeah, you know, it starts with the itinerary. Um, the team needs kind of a game plan going into each road trip. Uh, so we start with, you know, our arrival time, when we get to the hotel, team practice, and then, of course, your guys' favorite, the, the pregame meal and game oh, yeah. day breakfast. Love it, love it. <laughs> All right, there you go, a little behind the scenes with uh, Kyle Swan, our Dobo. Uh, look forward to being with him this year. First year in the, in the program, it's going to be a good one. Here we go. Thanks, Denzel. Hey, Lauren, with that big red-white scrimmage on Saturday afternoon, who are you liking in the early going here? You know, it's kind of early to tell, but red, white, uh, they both look good, but my money's on the Broncos this weekend. Hey, you can't go wrong with the Broncos <laughs> this weekend. A great breakdown from our college basketball analyst, Lauren Matheson. Thanks, John. Well, Cross Country had a great weekend at the Bronco, Bronco Invitational. They will race in a couple weeks at Portland in the WCC Championships. Well, Lauren, men's water polo finally is going to come home to the Sullivan Aquatic Center. We host four games this weekend, and Paige Robertson had a chance to talk to my teammate and friend, Theo Nasser. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Theo Nasser from the men's water polo team. You guys are hosting your first home game this weekend. I know you're excited. Will you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, Paige, we are very excited. We're looking forward. We're playing four new teams that we haven't seen yet this season. First games Friday night at the Sullivan Aquatic Center at 5 p.m. We're hoping we can get a big crowd. Weather should be great. So uh, we hope to see you all there. Like you said, great weather. So Bronco fans, be there. <clears throat> hey, John, good luck to you and your team as you play in the rodeo this weekend. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, the men's soccer team picked up road wins at Portland and Gonzaga this weekend to tie at the top of the WCC standings with USD. They're now at 5-1, and, and they'll have a bye this upcoming weekend. Lauren, what's on tap for the women's soccer team? Well, we had a great win against LMU this past Friday on Buckshaw, and we're hoping to continue that success at home against Gonzaga this Sunday. So be sure to come out for our represent game. Um, Callie Rice got it to catch up with Ali Vernon, one of our center backs who's just having a solid year this year, and the men's West Coast Conference Player of the Week, Kago Kamea. Thanks, Lauren and John. I'm here today with soccer players Ali Vernon and Kago Kamea. Kago, you were just named WCC Player of the Week after your team's two great wins this past weekend. Tell us a little bit about the weekend. Um, it was a great weekend for us. Um, to be able to win two games on the road, it's, it's, not, it's not always easy. And to be able to score that game-winning goal at Portland in the rain, just awesome feeling. Fantastic. So your team is off this week. Um, what are you doing to prepare for Portland next week? Um, train hard uh, and take care of the things off the field, such as schoolwork um, and all that. And, you know, just keep what we've been doing and just win games. 
Thank you. Allie, great win against LMU this past Friday. Tell us a little bit about the game. It was a great win. The team played very well. We were able to integrate some new players into the lineup, which was awesome. And um, Laura Matheson gave a great ball to Julie Johnson, who scored uh, the header in the second half. So it was a great win for us and definitely helped with our confidence. Super. So your game this weekend is against Gonzaga on Sunday at 11 a.m. What are you doing this week to prepare? I think we're just going to continue with our competitive atmosphere on, on the training field and continue to work hard and be ready for Gonzaga this weekend. Thanks, you guys. Back to you, Lauren and John. Once again, be sure to come out and support your women's soccer team on Sunday on Buckshaw at 11 a.m. Well, Lauren, the women's volleyball team returns home to play right here in the Levy Center on Saturday at 1 o'clock against a top 25 ranked BYU team. Our very own Ali Rambis had a chance to talk with Lexi Williamson and Kat Douglas about the upcoming weekend. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Kat Douglas and Lexi Williamson. We're preparing this week for our game against BYU. Kat, tell me some things that we've been working on in the gym. Um, this week, we're really going to practice on competing and playing against each other. Um, BYU is a top 20 team, but it shouldn't change the way that we approach them, and it should be a really good game. Awesome. And this weekend is also our Dig Pink game. Lex, tell us about it. Dig Pink is a breast cancer awareness game. All the NCAA teams have a Dig Pink game, and it's just a great way for us to bring awareness to the cause. Awesome. Well, be sure to catch our game against BYU at 1 on Saturday. Lauren, I know I'm going to be out here in my pink on Saturday afternoon after our game against Cal Baptist. Can I expect to see you out here as well? Oh, yeah. Me and the soccer team will be here decked out in pink right after practice. Good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, that's it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos!